Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the interface or software changes that have come on the Galaxy S8 that are different from the S7 or from the Note 7 from last year. Now, if you had the S7 before this Android 7.0 update, this is a major difference. If you had the Android 7.0 update, it's a light difference. First of all, I want to share my new favorite feature on the interface, and that is the app drawer. To get to the app drawer, now you just swipe either up or down on the home screen. So it's a really simple and easy way to get to it, and quite frankly, I love this way. It just makes it so much more easy and convenient to get to your home screen and to get to your app drawer fairly easily. So that's sort of going to be the first and biggest feature that I would say is different from how the interface operates. In terms of getting to the camera, you just double click the camera button, or sorry, double click the power button, and it will get to the camera right away on here. So you just double click it, and you have that ability. Now the interface of the camera has also changed, so you flip it up and down in order to get to selfie and rear camera, swipe to the left to get to all your different shooting modes. That includes panorama, selective focus, or for iPhone users, portrait mode. You have slow motion, food shots to really make your food pop. And on the right side, you have a bunch of different fun stuff. So you have uh, 16 different filters, two rows of different sets. And you do have this smart filter on the left side, which is a really great one because it just basically automatically detects what's the best filter for your lighting. You also have little stamps. So if you're posting some delicious food on uh, Instagram, you have that ability to take that move it around, make it uh, whatever size you want. But of course, the best thing ever is going to be the fact that you have mask like uh, Snapchat does. So if you are a fan of Snapchat, these are actually built into the camera now. You can click download and get some more as uh, the months go by as well. My favorite is definitely this one. So I will flip it over and just take a quick selfie with you for that. Bam. And there you go. So that's the ability you have to be able to do that. So really cool in terms of how it looks like and how it is. Uh, so really nice in that aspect for everything you need. Now in terms of the rest of the interface, you also do have things like split screen still present. So if you are watching a video, let's turn the volume down and watch this video. You can do split screen and just hit this button right here, do split screen, and then pick another one. And then from there, you can actually move it bigger. This is a feature you did not have on the S7 Edge after the uh, Nougat update. So I do like that they brought this feature back that you can make certain apps smaller or bigger depending on how you've taken it. So that is a new feature that you have on there. Now, in terms of everything else, when you hit, when you hit the home button, that app is still in the background so if I hit this button again it's still there you can drag it all the way down and then hit the home button in order to close it uh, or at least not have it running in the background uh, on other than that you have a settings menu that is going to be reminiscent of the note 7 settings menu or uh, 7.0 for the s7 so really simple layout, very easy to use. And I do want to point out there is a search button at the top. So if you want to search for all of your different things uh, on here, if you're not sure where something is, such as like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, well, then you can just search Bluetooth and it'll come up right there. So that's a really simple and easy walkthrough of it. Uh, in the app drawer, I always do want to let you know that you can search on your phone here too. And you can sort alphabetically. This is really big, especially if this is your first time using an Android phone. Pinch to zoom on the home screen and you get to do a couple of different things. This is where you can change wallpaper and themes, change uh, different widgets. Uh, widgets are these uh, icons right here so you can get quick go-to things right away and home screen settings. So for home screen settings, you can actually get rid of the app drawer right here if you want to. I don't personally recommend it, but you can get rid of it now on the new Samsung. Uh, you can also change your grid view so you can have it smaller or bigger depending on how you like it, the layout of it. You can also do that for your app drawer. You can make it 5x6 or 4x6. 
five by six is a little too scrunched for me, so I like four by six. And uh, you can have the app button or not. I choose to hide it so you doesn't take up a space on there and just swipe up and down to get to your app drawer. That being said, you can also hide apps once again, which is a great feature. If you ever want to hide apps, say you have an app that you don't want anyone else to see, this is where you can hide it, and so that's always a great feature to have. So yeah, guys, this was a brief walkthrough on the UI changes to the phone. You also have uh, these icons up here. Again, if you weren't familiar with the last update, let me just go through this. Uh, if you want to change, uh, turn something on or off, you just tap the icon itself, and that'll turn something on or off. However, if you want to go into the menu, you hit the word. So if I hit Bluetooth, the actual word, then I can have this little pop-up uh, window for Bluetooth and what's around here. So, and then if you hit details on this section, then you actually go to the full screen of it. So that's really great because if you don't know what something is, you can actually go and see what it is. So if I don't know what is performance, I have no idea. You can actually hit the performance button, see what it does. So this is optimized game, entertainment, high performance, but you can go to details to get further details on what these actually are. So hopefully this walkthrough helped you out uh, in terms of getting to know everything on the phone. And if you have any questions, please ask it in the comment section down below. Make sure to check out all of our other videos as we have the most coverage on YouTube for the Galaxy S8. And we will continue to bust out as many videos as we can to make sure you guys get the right choice if you want to get this phone or not. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.